In this video, I'm going to show how to get quick lower back pain relief in three easy steps. The great part is you don't need any special equipment and can be done in the comfort of your own home. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. O here at Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. So when it comes to lower back pain, we're going to follow the classic saying that a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. We need to focus on everything, the legs, the pelvis, the glutes, the buttocks, abs, lower back, you name it. So how we're going to do that is through doing compound exercises. These are very simple and straightforward. Again, they don't require any special equipment and you can do them in the comfort of your own home. So let's get started with them and get the lower back feeling better right now. With the first step, we're going to focus on warming everything up. That is loosening the soft tissue and opening up those joints to get a better result and get more lower back pain relief. So I'm going to start laying flat on my back. You can do this in bed, you can do it on the floor, whatever is more comfortable. But let's start with a basic knee to the chest stretch. That is, just like the name implies, taking the knees up towards the chest. You go to a point where it's a very good stretch, you should feel this in the glutes, the buttock, the lower back. If this causes discomfort or any of these stretches cause discomfort, please discontinue immediately. But once you get to that point where it's a good stretch, hold that for about 10 to 15 seconds. Just lower it a little bit, take a little bit of a breather, and then what you're going to do is repeat. You want to do this five times. For the second part, what I'm going to do is put my heels, my feet flat, and I'm going to anchor myself with my uh, arms to the side. I'm just going to slowly take the legs from side to side. So you'll see what I mean right here. And when I do this, I want to keep my lower back as flat as possible. So your bottom should be flat. Hold this for about two to three seconds. Go back to the starting point in the middle and then just go to the other side. Two to three second hold, come back up to the middle and then repeat. You want to do 10 times on each side. So after this warm up phase, everything should feel more loose and now we're going to go on to that second step. So the second step, we're going to do a compound exercise called the bretzel. This one is great. It's gonna focus on the legs. It's really gonna focus on the hips, the glutes, the buttocks and the pelvic area. A lot of lower back pain comes from this. So I'm going to start laying on one side. Take the top leg and what we're going to do is bend the knee like this, almost kind of similar to that knee to the chest that we did earlier. And I'm going to take the opposite arm, or I should say the hand, and grab behind the knee and pull that up towards me, similar again to that knee to the chest. Take the bottom leg and what you're going to do is bend the heel towards you. And what you want to do is grab at the ankle right here and then pull that towards you. So at the same time, I'm pulling the top leg towards me behind the knee and then I'm bringing the bottom leg towards me with it grabbed at the ankle. And I tell you what, this is a fantastic stretch. I feel it a lot in the glute. I feel a lot in the lower back, the hip area. So I only go to my comfort level. You want to hold this for about 15 seconds, relax, and then repeat it up to five times. If you feel that you need a little bit more in the low back, what we need to do while we're pulling on this top leg is to rotate it down towards the floor. That is taking the top knee down towards the floor. So watch what I'm doing right here. And I tell you what, this puts a great stretch into the lower back. Only go to your comfort level. Again, you want to do that upwards to five times. Relax, flip over to the other side, and then repeat. So with the last step, we're going to focus on putting a lot of mobility in the lower back through a safe, natural stretch. This is called the corkscrew stretch. What I'm going to do is lay flat on my back and I find that doing this exercise is easiest at the edge of a bed and you'll see why in just a second. So go towards the edge of a bed. Whatever side is facing away from the edge, lift that leg up, bend the knee at 90 degrees, take the opposite arm, grab right behind the knee and then slowly start to rotate down towards the floor you're already going to get a very good stretch in the lower back. And when I do this, I usually get a pop or crack in the lower back. It's kind of like a knuckle pop at that point. It's just gas is being released. So as long as it's not causing discomfort, it should be okay. What I'm going to do then is take the arm, the other arm I should say, and then I'm going to slowly start to rotate my upper body and my head towards the opposite direction. So as my lower back is getting rotated towards the left, my upper body and my head are twisting towards the right. And this 
is a very good stretch in the lower back. Go to your comfort level, hold that for up to 15 seconds, just relax a little bit, and then repeat that up to five times. So give all three of these steps a try, and I hope that it gives you very quick, instant lower back pain relief. If you liked the video and got a lot of relief, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.